Hello YouTube, this is Zoo Tycooner Steve, and I'm back for episode 9 of this Let's Play, where we're going to go further into our forest land. Uh, what we're going to do this time around is, as I was talking about last time, fill in this little area here in our new forest area of the park uh, with some eagle displays. And, uh, okay, let's just get started here. Uh, now it is a smaller area, so I might end up with just a single eagle there, but I think we can do a pretty cool display. Uh, you know what? Before we do the eagles, though, there is one thing that's bothering me from last time. Uh, and that was, I just kind of left dirt on the inside shelters for both our foxes and our skunks. Which I guess is okay, but if you want it to be more zoo realistic, usually the insides, or at least, I guess maybe that's not zoo realistic, but at least it looks better to my sort of aesthetic sense, is to go ahead and just pave over this area with cement. And that's something the animals can actually handle. Um, typically your animals don't get a set if there's a little bit of like paved walkway inside their exhibit. It's just as long as they have access to uh, uh, plenty of outside area too. So we're just going to go ahead and pave that over. And then we're going to use the hay we have here to sort of make it look like we've made some bedding for our animals here, since there are both den animals, both uh, foxes and skunks. So we'll do this as just a final touch. It was something that was kind of bothering me as I was watching the exhibit for a little bit here, just making sure that everything worked fine. I didn't quite like how the insides looked. So there we go, a nice little touch up there. And uh, the hay's spilling out a little bit, but I think that's going to be pretty well hidden once we pop our foliage in. Yeah, it looks looks just fine. Now let's take a look at it from the inside here. And yeah, to me that looks a little more realistic. Yeah, okay. That's very good there. So now, let's go ahead and pause the game and get to work on our eagles. Um, now what are we going to do for the eagle thing? Originally I was kind of disappointed because I thought, well, I was going to have to put up a, sort of an aviary cage for the eagles and it would look a little too much like the raccoon exhibit we have next door. Um, but then I went and did some exploring. I looked at what actual zoos had done for it, and it turns out that there's a lot of zoos out there that which actually have an open-air eagle exhibit. Uh, apparently eagles are just smart enough where if you uh, provide them with plenty of food inside the habitat, they're just going to avoid going over to where the people are. So I'm going to use that for our inspiration here, and I'm just sort of marking out the area I want. Um, get rid of that. Bye. Okay. And I'm going to leave it a little off the path because I am going to put in a viewing area just to make it a little more distinguished from the other exhibits. Um, let me grab a fence here because what I'm going to do just to give it some character is I'm going to put a waterfall in the back of the exhibit. And um, have I shown how to do a waterfall? I can't remember. I probably have, but uh, I'll show you right now how to get it. Uh, basically what you want to do is sort of fence off the area like we've done here. Um, let me just go ahead and complete the outline of the exhibit here before we move on and I forget and make myself mad because um, when we eventually lay down the pathways for the guest it's going to mess things up if you don't have the fence down. Okay, so let's go ahead here and we'll go ahead and raise the turf just bring it up um, and we grab the shallow water and you put it on the top of the rear rig race now let's undo that I actually think I want it a little bit higher um, I want this to be a really impressive waterfall so we'll drag it way up here and shallow water and whoa that's that's actually too high um, since I'm throwing, I don't want it to have to, like, you saw the fences lit up yellow there, that uh, if you're not familiar with Zoo Tycoon 2, it means that uh, it's such a high pathway that no guests can walk it, and uh, it doesn't really matter, we're not going to have guests back there, but I don't want all my fences showing up bright yellow, so, nope, it's still a little too high, but we'll get it here, I'm just trying to get it exactly as high as I can without making the fences light up, so... Might take me a few tries here, but I will get it. We'll soldier through, I guarantee you. Uh, middle, like that, maybe? This is probably exactly as high as it was that first time. Um, I think that's going to be okay then. 
Let's fill this in. Yes, okay. And now we'll just delete this front fence here. And grab more of our shallow water and lay it down so it's flush against the sides there. Like that. And then you just kind of drag it across the sheer cliff here. Like that. I think I'll keep it all on the left hand side. And we'll fill this area in with temperate forest, which is what our bald eagles come from. You know, actually, I think I'm going to leave that... Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and use these rocks. Yeah, I was playing with the coastal rocks earlier. They look great. Um, so, let's go ahead and just keep this area down here all shallow water. And we'll grab those rocks and we'll use them to build up sort of a faux cliff. And grab the small ones to fill in the area. And we'll just do a little mix and match of small, medium, and large just so it doesn't look like it's the same exact shape stacked on top of itself over and over and over again. Mm, no, that's sticking out a little too much. Let's recess it in there. Uh, maybe one more down here, and then I'll fill in the rest with the small coastal rocks. Too much? Um, something like that, like that. And bring it down cascading. And see if I can't sneak a medium one back in here. Like so. Okay. And then so it doesn't stand out so much. Whoops, that's going to take up way too much room. We'll drop another medium coastal rock up front of the exhibit here. And fill in that little area. Like that. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and start working on our uh, viewing area. So I'm going to make this very low to the ground. Whoops. So we'll get it so it's just one high off the path. Uh, like that. And then we'll extend a flat area. Um, nope. Well, I'll just drag it across here and then use that to make sure everything's nice and flat, even. Like that, okay. And let's get rid of the excess here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just want to get rid of it all. Mm-hmm. And make sure that is flush with the front fence there. Yes, it is. It looks fine. Looks fine. Okay, so I'll turn the trees back on there like I did. Uh, let's see, how do I want to... Here, I know what I'm going to do here. Just for a sense of aesthetic, I'm going to replace those. I actually really like those wood fences, but since we went with those coastal rocks, I think I can kind of blend in the rock fence here. Ooh, we dragged some bamboo up. Well, that's what you get for a building without being able to see plants. Let me get rid of these extra bamboos. Nope, not the tree. Just the bamboo. Okay. And I'll go with the shorter size rock fence for the back of the exhibit here. Come on. Stop fighting me. There we go. Yeah, and drag it down like that. Okay. I'll leave the... Yeah, I'll leave the wood on the other side there, because I'll make it blend in with some trees. So here we are. There's the bald eagle. It's what we're going to use. It's from the American Adventures pack. And let's go ahead and turn our attention to some gardening. Uh, now, eagles like really, really tall pine trees. At least in Zoo Tycoon 2 they do. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how accurate that is, but that's what they always seem to really like in this game. So I'm going to use some of these cooked pines to fill in the area. Let me zoom out here so I can get a better look. And one up front like so. 
And I'll grab one of these really tall red pines. Nope, oh, if it lets me put it in. Uh, just to break up the monotony. Drop one there. Okay. Uh, I'm almost positive that these work. The elevated bird feeders. Um, they come from Zoo Tycoon ABC's Aves Path, I'm almost certain. And I think they're going to work fine. And by work, I mean that the eagles will actually fly up and use them. Uh, same thing here with the bamboo bird shelter. Uh, back in the chicken coops, I use those... Um, what are they actually? They're actually stairway railings as a coop. Uh, those ones are not functional, they're just kind of statues. This one should actually be functional, uh, provided, of course, the bird you're using is coded to be able to understand it. Uh, I should also mention that uh, I'm using Snow Leo's equipment, uh, which will make this exhibit much nicer because that also allows animals and zookeepers to climb on rocks. So that big area I'm taking up with our coastal rocks is not actually being wasted. It's something they can grow upon and they're not going to feel like they're running out of space. Um, and let's just force the area up by dropping in these ferns here. I do love these ferns. I probably haven't used them enough in the zoo, but um, they didn't really fit in that large farm area we did, so I didn't have much of a choice, so I'm going to make up for it now. Uh, let me grab a few more of these rocks, just so not as conspicuous that this area here has none. So I'll expand it out here. Maybe one right across the way. How does that look like from the front? Um, let me drop another one down here. And I think it looks good, but I'm concerned that other one might mess with the hitbox for the bars. Let me get rid of that just in case. Okay. It's got to be plenty of rocks anyway. We don't need any more rocks. Uh, let's get rid of the trees for a second so I can see, and we'll finish off our viewing area. Oh, I know what I'm going to use. Um, well, I know what I'm going to use if I can find it. First, let me use this wooden fence on the side, though. I think it needs to go over two. Yeah, I'll do it for both, like that. And so, well, that's one too many, but okay. We'll just replace it in a second here. And, whoops. I thought I saw it. Is it back here, maybe? Did I go too far? I seem to spend a lot of time in these videos looking for the things I want to use. I really should take the time to figure out where they are beforehand. <laughs> but oh well. Ah, here it is. Beautiful and perfect. I'm going to use this wooden bar railing. I forget where this comes from. Probably from Snow Leo's equipment, but I really, really like them. I think they're going to work great with the uh, floor we got there. Yeah, that's going to look great. Uh, I'm feeling really good about this exhibit, actually. Uh, and since we're using these things, let's go ahead and drop some stairs in. Uh, there is a complicated way you can do stairs without an elevated path. I might show that in a later video. In a later video. Uh, but for now, we're just going to drop them on an elevated path. Uh, leave one open just in case there's a guest that's uh, not going to be able to use steps. Make it more like a real zoo that way. Uh, and oh, while we're in here, speaking of those stair railings I was using earlier for the chicken coops to simulate a roost, let's go ahead and actually use them for stair railings this time. So three like this. And let's go ahead and grab, where's the left hand one? Nope, not that one. No. That's the right hand side, so I'm guessing this is the left. Perfect, there's the left side. We'll attach that to the wall there. Yeah, that's fine. I like that a lot. like it a lot. It's doing good. Um, while we've got this box open, let's go ahead and grab a donation box. Which we'll put right, not in the exhibit, right here. Right here. Um, right. Okay, I'm not going to fight it. So let's move it up here and flip it the other way around. Just as long as guests have access to it, that's really all I care about. So there we go. That's pretty neat. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to look... This actually turned out a little better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and drop some eagles in. And I'm going to go ahead and put two in and let it run for a minute and see if they have a space requirement. Because uh, it is a very small exhibit. So let's go ahead and unpause. Splash, splash. We'll drop down to guest mode so we can see them too. Um, oh, okay, I'm actually caught inside the fox exhibit, so let me hop out forward a bit and back. Okay. So let's take a peek, and I do want to make sure that the uh, both the shelter and the food is good. There, there you go. See how he's walking on top of a rock? Um, yeah, Vanilla Zoo Tycoon 2 does not do that. It actually takes up space in their exhibit. I don't know if it actually counts against them in terms of like uh, how comfortable they feel in that exhibit, but uh, they can't walk on top of it. Nope. I think it's taken off to go on top of the perch. Okay, it wasn't the best graphic, but uh, it's not bad. It works at least, so at least they'll be happy and you can find them up there. Um, they are facing the other. I might need to turn it around just so they land facing you. But okay, they work with the Aves equipment. That's the important thing. Let me go ahead and drop a zookeeper in there before I forget. Zookeeper. Oh my goodness, how do you pronounce that zookeeper's name? Dumitrascu. Dumitr. Zookeeper D. I'm going to take care of our eagles. Um, now, of course, we're also building right across from the river right here so we need to take a moment to think about the aesthetic sense for those of the people who are just coming into the zoo walking past the Nile crocodile exhibit we did way back in episode was that episode two I think it was I think it was two well it's gonna be in the playlist if you're interested in seeing how to make a Nile crocodile display go right ahead and check it out um, but let's go ahead and grab our habitat editor here and we'll do just a little tweaking to turn this back into temperate grassland and then we'll throw down some of our traditional trees, uh, Russian thistles, and royal ferns on top of there. So it'll be a little bit thinner part of the river there, but it's going to be okay because, you know, rivers are not a uniform length the entire way usually, so it'll look more natural anyway. Uh, see, I knocked out the waterfall here. Um, uh oh, it's not letting me put it back. Come on. I'm hoping I'm just missing it. Um, shoot. Okay, let me make sure I filled in this area down here. Oh, there it goes. Good. It was not as big as project as I thought it might be. That's much better. Good. So let's roll over here. And like I said, we're just going to grab some of our traditional decorations. Start with the Royal Thurn. And a lot of these times, it's not going to let me place it because we are so much on the river. But uh, we'll fill in what we can here. I'm just kind of trying to... Mostly I'm doing this to disguise where that cliff is, where it goes up. Because I think that looks a little artificial, a little rough. But, fortunately, we can lay down a thick botanical cover for our working area. Um... See, where can we actually get an English oak down? One there, and one... I don't want it to actually get inside the eagle exhibit, so let's get this close to the river as we can there. And uh, unpause so I can go into guest mode real quick and take a peek at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to say that that's pretty good. Um, uh, there's a little gap there. Alright, maybe I'll play with that off camera. I don't want to spend the entire time tweaking very small things like that. But uh, just keep in mind if you are making a zoo, you do need to go back and make sure your old areas are looking as great as you can, because sometimes you can tweak them like that. And by tweak them, I mean mess them up slightly. Um, let me go ahead. I think I'm going to use these pine trees as sort of the general foliage for, uh, I guess, what are we calling it? Forest land here. So I'm just going to drop these as a background. And I realized I actually just cut off access to the raccoons uh, because our zookeepers wouldn't be able to get to the entrance to the raccoon cage. Um, so 
So let me go ahead and make sure that a pathway is clear here. We'll get rid of that tree. This one and that one. So I think there's enough room for them to get by there, but still filled in that back area with the larger pine trees, which I'm all for. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and put the roof on our... Yes, you can see the eagles from there. So let's go ahead and put the roof on our viewing area. Let me go ahead. Uh, what kind of roof am I going to use here? Oh, I think I know. Okay. So I'm going to put down this stone path here, or this white path, whatever it's technically called for a second. But then I'm going to trade it out for one. Uh, I don't know. It needs to be a little higher that straight across there and get rid of the excess and I didn't check beforehand um, like I said I don't oh yeah I still got them good so I'm gonna use this canopy here like that yes and yeah yeah that's the ticket. I like that a lot. Okay, and let's just go ahead and then put some of our path walkways here, just to keep me sane for a moment. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Um, let me just go ahead and grab a gate to slap here just so our raccoon person can get in and out. Uh, we took the time to move those trees, we might as well make sure they can actually get into the exhibit. Right now they should be okay, but sometimes when you uh, load the game fresh, they spawn in a weird place and that'll mess you up. But let's go ahead and take a look at how our eagles are doing. And yep, sure enough, they're using the food trough, uh, but I realize I haven't turned plants back on, so let's do that. Back up and do it again so you can get an actual idea of what our new open air eagle exhibit. I was really pleased when I found out that eagles can do, or at least are commonly placed in open air exhibits. I had only ever seen them in like a full caged area, aviary, so um, that was kind of exciting and got me ready to go for this episode. Uh, and let's take a look at how we did in ours. Excuse the cough there. Uh-huh. And there it goes. It's taken back off for its stoop. Again, not the greatest animation there, but I really like how that turned out. Um, there's the other one, and they're not getting any complaints about size either, so I doubt we can handle many baby little eaglets, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, but let me know what you think. Maybe you think it's terrible and you've got great ways to improve it. Uh, I'm always willing to hear that, because one of the reasons I'm doing this series is so I can become a better zoo tycooner. So please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe in the video below. Thank you for listening, watching, and you have a great day.